Hey, this is Tommy John, and you're listening to the Sports Circus. Welcome to the Sports Circus. I'm your ringmaster, Sal, live from Las Vegas in the Amp TV studio, AAMP.TV. Today's show is brought to you by UppercutChops.com. Check out their tasty selection of all-natural, dry-aged USDA Prime Wagyu steaks and chops. Wait till you taste their best-in-class New York steaks, the filet mignon, and of course, the king of all, those gigantic cowboy cut and tomahawk cut ribeyes. Best I've ever had. Probably be the best you ever have as well. Check them out at UppercutChops.com. That's UppercutChops.com. Or give them a call. Find out what's for dinner. 702-799-9935. 702-799-9935. 702-799-9935 for UppercutChops.com. Yes! <laughs> Boy, those are great steaks. If you haven't had them, folks, check them out. They're phenomenal. All right, a big welcome in to everybody listening in on our CBS, NBC, and Fox Sports affiliates from coast to coast, all of our independents as well, and everybody watching on Cox, Comcast, Spectrum, Frontier, and Time Warner Cable Television, plus Hotel TV in about 550,000 rooms in all Nielsen-rated markets. You can't get away from us, folks. We're here with a very special guest from the very top of the show, and here to introduce himself is our guest. Um, Jorge Alfaro, right here. Uh, just here to talk about being your own boss. I like that. I like that. Here to talk about being your own boss. Maybe that's why you have that boss shirt on. Tell me about the shirt real quick. Uh, I mean, how he said it, you know, boss. I mean, you just have to believe that. You just have to, how I said it before, that's be right. your own boss. You control be what you can control, but right hey just that's going a, forward and, and pursue your dreams that's a great shirt that's a great color you know what i happen to have one of those boss shirts on too but see you can see yours mine's a little bit faded here because i'm the host so i have to wear a collared shirt if you know what i mean you know i can't help it but nonetheless hey that's, that's, a, that's a rather a rather snappy shirt you got a watch on too what do you got over there let me see hold that watch up let me see that put that a little closer to the camera so everybody on tv can see that sure. All right, all right. What are you wearing? Tell me about that. I like watches. Boss, like, um, man, uh, brown leather, uh, like a, a blue on the, I don't know how to say that. That's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I mean, no importa. So, folks, in case you're wondering, so we have Jorge Alfaro here, and he is a native Colombian, and he is here pursuing his dream, and he's been in Major League Baseball. This guy's been on the rodeo. He's been a catcher for a lot of years, but I'm asking him just about this cool watch and the shirt and stuff like that because, hey, listen, it's my show, and I can do what I want to do. I'll tell you what. Maybe I'll trade you my watch right here for your watch right there. What do you think about that? Huh? <laughs> I like mine though. I know, right? Well, <laughs> okay, so maybe someday we'll swap watches. Anyway, listen, let's talk about baseball. Okay, so you've you came out of nowhere, out, out of a small town in Colombia, right? You were one of 26 players to play Major League Baseball out of Colombia. The odds are so long. I mean, let's let me let's think about this. Let's wrap our head around this for just a moment. We think about, I mean, all the, the players or all the people that are in Colombia, how many millions and millions and millions of people, you are one of four ever to come out of Colombia and play Major League Baseball. That in itself, that's madness. So talk about playing amateur baseball and then having the possibility to really grab the opportunity to play on a professional level what was the game difference and what was the game speed for you um everything you know like coming from colombia i had to fly to dominican and like um train there uh, 
I mean, how I said it, pursuing a dream, trying to get a chance to uh, get into the professional baseball. So I don't even sign in Colombia. I had to get out of my country and try to get that, you know? And uh, I mean, you just have to follow your dream, believe it. Believe so, in what, what you believe, you know, what, what you believe that you can do. So, Jorge, the path, it's a very bumpy road. For those that don't know, I mean, look, the probability of anybody, even from the United States, to play professional baseball, it's a very, very, very bumpy road. But now, factor in coming from a foreign country and all the hoops you have to jump through just to play professional baseball in the United States. And of course, you think about the climb all the way up through the system, through Major League Baseball. Folks, that is one bumpy ass ride. It's not an easy thing to do. And when we think of what Jorge has done, it is almost the improbable. And for how many years you've done this and you know, you think about the highs and lows of it, the free agency periods, the down periods, the high periods. And I want to know Never mind that right now. I want to talk about staying healthy. What did you do for all the years that you've played to keep yourself healthy? I mean, it was really hard, you know. But but at the end, you just think about what you, I mean, what you, uh, that little guy, you know, that, that young Jorge wanted you to do you know that he just left everything back home just to come here and pursue a dream just like try to uh his best and be the best player that he can be so you're gonna get through everything as you said it like up and up and downs and injuries everything but it all depends on what you believe what you and trust yourself and have faith faith on on you right oh folks by the way in case you're just tuning in everybody on hotel television and all of our affiliates from coast to coast everybody else on cox comcast spectrum frontier time warner wow cable television we're here with jorge alfaro and he is a professional baseball player for many years and he's a catcher which is even more demanding. So Jorge, talk to me about the rigor, the demand of being a catcher in professional baseball versus just just playing for fun, playing amateur baseball. Um, and it's a really hard, hard job, you know, because um, you have to uh, do almost everything, you know, that you have to... Um, be able to uh, control the game, try to help the pitcher to feel comfortable. And besides that, you had to forget about that, about defense and go hit. So everything is like uh, two different players. You had to think about offense when you hit, but whenever that a bad ends, you had to go back and do your job as a catcher. So. Most of the time, you had to be like two persons on the field, a hitter, but the main the main thing that you had to be is focus on the game and call a good game or be part like be like a bodyguard for that pitcher on the mound that day. Okay, well let's let me ask you this. So when we think about, look, I'm I'm a former pitcher. And I know I liked to call my own game. But the catchers here in our last couple of minutes of this segment here, I want to run through this real quick, then we'll pick it up on the other side. When I'm shaking you off, right, you're putting down maybe for a curveball or something, and I'm like, no, 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 no. I want to throw a straight change, right? I, I think that's going to work better for me. Think about being El Jefe of the whole field, right? So that's that's you. And... In many cases, I know a lot of catchers don't like the idea of being shaken off. What are your thoughts about that? Uh, I believe if, he's a, if we have a plan before the game and whenever 
we see something while the game is gone, um, you can just call time and go, I mean, go to the mound and, and talk to him and think about, like, pick it, pick it up on his brain, like, try to be on the same page because uh, that is all about. We want to be just one, not pitcher and catcher, just one person out there. Right. Being in the same page. I mean, if he wants to throw a pitch, you you should go out there and, like, trust him, believe him, you know? Like, talk to him. Like, that's the best way to do it. Just go to the mound and talk to him. Yeah, you see, and I, and I applaud you for that because... There are many times, and the catchers that I've had, all the way back to when I played in the Mexican League, and I had the catchers get really mad at me to the point where we're having an argument on the pitcher's mound because I know I'm feeling, you know, maybe today, you know, I'm feeling I'm going to throw a knuckle curve today, and I've got it, and I have, I have pretty good command of it today, right? There's a difference between command and control, right? But in many cases, sometimes, you know, you feel like, hey, I'm going to throw a straight change today. And at least I know that when I throw it, I know I'm going to get it over and I'm not going to be wild in the strike zone. In fact, when we come back from break, I want to talk a little bit more about that and the baseball rule changes and pitch comp, which I that's a whole nother discussion. All right. Tell you what, folks, we're going to be back here with Jorge Alfaro in just a few minutes. And this guy is looking really sharp in that boss shirt and watch as the big branding guru from Colombia. Back here in just a few minutes, folks. Don't go anywhere. Attention business owners, you and your customers are listening to this commercial right now. Face it, every business needs customers, even yours. The Sports Circus is a primetime nationally syndicated program that's carried on ABC, NBC, CNBC, and Westwood One News affiliates, plus CBS, Fox, and NBC sports affiliates across North America with coverage from Hawaii to New York. Also, the Sports Circus is available to the 180 million subscribers on iHeartRadio, and the Sports Circus gets about 4 million website visitors per month, which could click through your website and bring sales. The Sports Circus provides great content featuring celebrity guests from sports and entertainment to our audience every weekday, which your company could greatly benefit from by increasing your visibility, foot traffic, eyeballs to your website, and calls from potential customers. Call us right now at 702-799-9935. Again, 702-799-9935. Or email us at info at thesportscircus.com. That's info at thesportscircus.com. Drive your sales today by advertising with the Sports Circus. Can your IRA stand up to the next financial crisis that our top economists are saying is at our doorsteps? By allocating a percentage of your IRA into physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover, you can diversify and safeguard your holdings from turbulent markets and economic downturns by putting your IRA back on the gold standard. Find out how to safeguard your assets with a tax-free rollover with a Genesis Gold IRA, the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report. Protect your IRA today with one simple phone call and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. Call Genesis Gold Group, empowering faith-driven stewardship. 800-932-5517. 800-932-5517. 800-932-5517. That's 800-932-5517. That's the sound of sizzling, dry-aged USDA Prime Wagyu and Angus steaks from UppercutChops.com. They're best-in-class filet mignons, New York steaks, and the king of all steaks, the tomahawk and cowboy cut ribeyes are the best in the business. Even their Prime Wagyu burgers will likely be the best you've ever had. Browse the full selection of steaks and chops at UppercutChops.com from the comfort of your home or on your mobile device. UppercutChops.com delivers all-natural, dry-aged USDA Prime Wagyu and Angus steaks and chops directly to your door. Without the hassle of going to the grocery store and fight crowds to pick from a small selection of average at best meats with injected steroids, fillers, and coloring added to look good. Find out what's for dinner at UppercutChops.com or call 702-799-9935 at 702-799-9935, 702-799-9935 or make your selection directly at UppercutChops.com. Welcome back 
to the Sports Circus. I'm Roy Firestone. Now it's time to throw it back to Sal. Welcome back to the Sports Circus. I'm your ringmaster, Sal, live from Las Vegas in the AMP TV studio, AAMP.TV. Stands for All Ages Media Programming, in case you're keeping score. This segment brought to you in part by your friends over the College of Southern Nevada Athletics. Check them out at CSNCoyotes.com for upcoming games and events. That's CSNCoyotes.com for the College of Southern Nevada Athletics. Yes! In fact, that's the same school that produced Bryce Harper. Yeah, Bryce Harper, first round pick overall. Bryce is doing very well, of course, as we've seen in Major League Baseball. Well, he is a product of the College of Southern Nevada baseball team. What a great team. All right. Big welcome back to everybody listening in on our CBS, NBC, and Fox Sports affiliates and independents from coast to coast, including our friends over in Honolulu on CBS Sports 1500, KHKA, that's home of the New York Yankees and the Alabama Crimson Tide. Welcome in to everybody that's listening up and down the West Coast from San Diego all the way up to Seattle, across through Denver and Chicago, down to Texas and over to Auburn, Alabama on WAUD 1230 AM. That's home of the Atlanta Braves. A big hello to our friends over in Atlanta, WDJY 99.1 FM and everybody else that's listening, everybody streaming on Facebook. How about this one? How about Chicago food favorites on Facebook? Of course, they always get a round of applause because we always think about food when we think of baseball, right? So everybody watching there, a big hello to you and everybody else on Hotel TV in over 550,000 rooms in all Nielsen rated markets across America. And we are here with our special guest, and that would be Jorge Alfaro. And Jorge, for many years, catcher in Major League Baseball, free agency, we know what that's about. But I want you to get back to this whole discussion about being the catcher, but now I want you to factor in the technology with, like, Pitchcom, for example. Let's first talk about Pitchcom. Tell everybody what Pitchcom is and what your experience is with it at this point. Um, I would say it will help to um, the power of the game of the stealing signs. I mean, it's, uh, it's better that way. But at the same time, like that was part of, part of the game. That's what I get. Uh, that's what I believe. Like if you have the ability just to do that like try to still sign get a advantage of that advantage of that that that, um, that's another talent you know not everybody can do that but it will help with that with uh, with the power of stealing signs but uh you just feel like you're playing a video game (laughs) you're just pressing a button uh with the pitches with the all the pitches on and just give locations and uh, besides just put the fingers down, like old school and all that, uh, I just feel like you're playing a video game. That's the way I see it. Right? Yeah, I mean, when I look at the the timeouts and whatever that are taken because, oh, pitch comm's not working. To me, it drives me crazy because I'm used to seeing the signs, right? This kind of thing, right? Just give me the sign uh, and we'll figure it out. And if somebody can figure out where I'm going to throw the ball, good for them. Good for them because they still have to hit the ball. And, you know, let's let's talk about that for a minute. Because what we've seen over the last maybe 8, 10 years or so, we've seen a very sharp increase in launch angle, right? So you're seeing a lot of uppercut these days. And for me, as a former pitcher, we didn't see that. No, we saw a level swing, which, of course, means you're going to have a lot more contact. And this is what a lot of people don't seem to remember or they don't seem to understand Watching a baseball game, they say, well, it's boring. No, it's not boring. you got to understand the chess match behind it. So think about this. Jorge, as a catcher, it's a lot easier to catch a ball when somebody is, let's just say this is home plate, right? Nice flat surface. If somebody's bat is going in an uppercut swing, right? If they're swinging as an uppercut right over the top of it, so to say, well, guess what? The hitting zone is over the plate right here. If this is the home plate, everybody watching on TV, there's a hand here, it's the flat hand. If that's home plate, and if the bat is going on an angle, there's a sweet spot where that ball comes in that you have to hit at the right spot, the right everything for that ball to launch and get out of the yard. That's why the strikeout rates are up. Because those are a lot better for the pitcher when somebody's coming in with an uppercut versus a level swing because the bat stays in the hitting zone longer. Right, So you have a flat plane 
and then you have a hitting zone that's flat. So the contact area is a lot bigger versus a launch angle that's intersecting it. You know what I'm saying? So the reality uh, is, yeah, yeah people, a lot more hitters are striking out these days. But what we also see are the pitchers throwing their arms out. We have a Tommy John problem. We have this problem. We have shoulder surgeries left, right, and center. As a catcher, your perspective of the game is you see the entire field. What do you see as the difference in the game over the last 10 years, in your opinion? Um, what do you say on like a lunch angle and all that? Um, I will say the, um, I mean, I believe in the, you can create a launch, uh, launch angle just keeping your barrel through the strike zone longer. And, um, but for, from my perspective, I just trying to read your swing if you just going like up and up, like up and down, like straight down swing or like somebody who can straight through the, the strike zone. Uh, you can see it from behind the plate. And that way, even if you have a plan uh, before the game with the pitcher, that will feed you back, that you get some feedback then how, how you're going to use his um, army, you know, like his, um, his pitches against that team. Um, that's, the, that's the only thing I, I believe about, about that. And... I don't know. Baseball is changing a lot, you know. Pitching is getting hard. Uh, I mean, it's getting, like, everybody's throwing over 100, 97. Like, you don't see, like, that many pitchers that come in from the bullpen at 92, 93 that much anymore. Everything, if, if they throw at 92, 93, they have, like, really, really good uh, breaking balls, good changeup. Um, so... We had to find a way, you know, because baseball, baseball is changing. Everything is changing. It's, get, it's changing for better. Um, it's a lot of, like, uh, Tommy John surgeries, everything. But the way, the, way, the way you think is, like, you want to be the best player you can be. And that will, that everything have a risk. If you over, let's say, over train. You know what I mean? Over, like, do something. Something is going to happen. A lot of people are going to stay healthy. Are gonna people, a lot of people are going to stay, are going are gonna to get hurt. But at the end of the day, you just want to be the best player you can be. You want to be better and better. Uh, and that's what pitching is it's doing right now. It's just getting harder to hit. Well, you know, Jorge, it seems a way, by the way, a big welcome back to everybody that's just tuning in right now from Hotel Television and, of course, all of our television affiliates, CBS, NBC, and Fox, and all of our radio affiliates, in case you're just tuning in as well, here with Jorge Alfaro, a very, very experienced longtime catcher from Colombia. And, of course, you know, there's a significance, by the way, with the branding in Colombia. Of course, there's a, there's a lot going on here with Jorge Alfaro that we're going to learn a little bit more about here. Of course, he's wearing that wonderful shirt, and he's got a very, very cool watch to go with it. I think it might be a little bit cooler than mine. But at the end of the day, there's a lot here, a lot of responsibility on you as a catcher, whether you're playing on this team, that team, the other team, whether you're playing even winter ball with Los Tigres, right? The reality is there's a lot going on in the day-to-day -day that a lot of people don't know what happens with a professional baseball player, let alone a catcher who arguably has the toughest job in baseball. Take one minute and tell everybody why being a catcher is the toughest job in baseball. You had to uh, be in every pitch, every play. You had to focus on the game. If, like You can't walk out of the game for a second. You know what I mean? Even in your mind, you had to be on the same page with the pitcher. You had to be a leader on the, on the, on the field. Uh, you had to be a boss. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But, well, of course. You're going to round of applause for that little plug there. 
But reality is, no, I, I think you're right. And see, it's kind of like a pitcher. The catcher's got to keep the pitcher moving because sometimes when the pitcher's dawdling around the pitcher's mound, hey, your outfielders and, and the seven guys behind you, they're going to be flat-footed. They're not going to be ready. Maybe there's a, a lazy fly ball hit to left field. Well, in many cases, if that left fielder is just flat-footed, kind of looking around, maybe signing autographs in between pitches, you never know. We recently saw that. But reality is, if you don't keep your seven guys behind you going and ready, let's face it, it's, it's a lot easier to make an error out in the field with those guys because the pitcher's not ready and the pitcher's not moving, and that catcher is uh, the, the field general to get the game moving, to keep the game moving. So there's a lot more to this catcher business, folks. In case you're wondering here in our last 30 seconds of the segment, look, being a catcher in professional baseball is very, very difficult. And I think, Jorge, that's why catchers make really good managers over time because they see the entire game unlike all the other players because they really don't. Right or wrong? That's right. That's right. Um that's why I really like um, I really like to watch uh, Jadier Molina catch. He was like a manager on the field. You know what I mean? He he know every move. He know like every pitch, everything. He was yeah. on every play. Yeah, he absolutely. Tell you what, two step ahead. Jorge, I want you to everybody. hold that thought because we're gonna go to break right now. We gotta take care of some business. Back here in a few minutes with Jorge Alfaro, catcher, field general and brand ambassador. Don't go anywhere. Last more to come here on The Circus. I'm your ringmaster cell of the Sports Circus, a primetime nationally syndicated television, radio, sports, and entertainment show. The Sports Circus covers topics others are too scared to talk about. There's no other primetime show like it on here that'll punch you in the face and you'll beg for more. Join me, Hall of Famers, World Champions, and All-Star Celebrity Guests for Chaos and Controversy here on Lipson and all podcast platforms, plus thesportscircus.com. Remember, folks, it's a circus and we prove it every day. Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. 800-296-1209. 800-296-1209. That's 800-296-1209. If you have diabetes, listen up. If you have insurance, you can qualify for a continuous glucose monitor. With a CGM, you can continuously track your levels and trends and spend more time in range, significantly lowering your A1C. More importantly, a CGM eliminates the one thing most people with diabetes hate, painful finger sticks. Order your new continuous glucose monitor today. If you use insulin and if you've seen your diabetes care provider within the last six months, you may qualify for your own CGM right now. We'll do all the insurance paperwork and deliver your new CGM at little or no out-of-pocket cost to you. Medicare and most insurances will cover your CGM, so don't wait. Have your insurance handy and call the Aptiva Medical CGM Health Hotline right now. 800-320-2751. 800-320-2751. 800-320-2751. That's 800-320-2751. Do you own a timeshare? Well, face the facts. You made a mistake. You made a bad purchase. A timeshare is not an investment. It's a money pit that continues forever. If you use your timeshare, that's great. But if you don't and you want to legally get out of your contract, call my friends right now at the Timeshare Exit Hotline. They're an experienced team of lawyers who help good people like you get out of a timeshare contract that they just don't want. Don't throw away your money on maintenance fees. Use it for things you really want. We can help you end your timeshare contract and stop the money drain immediately. If you're ready to move on with your timeshare, call our team right now. Cancel your timeshare now with a free call. 800-298-3173. 800-298-3173. 800-298-3173. That's 800-298-3173.
Hey everyone, Dave Jackson here, ESPN Rules Analyst on ESPN Hockey, and you're listening to the Sports Circus. Welcome back to the Sports Circus. I'm your ringmaster, Sal, live from Las Vegas in the Amp TV studio, AAMP.TV. This segment is brought to you by, tell you what, this one's brought to you by Jorge Alfaro, and Jorge's going to tell you about that really cool shirt and that watch that he's wearing. I don't care. We have no script, no nothing. This is just for fun. And I also see a couple of other items in front of you, but I want to hear more about that shirt and that watch. Tell the world about what you're wearing. Just a nice blue shirt uh with a boss sign of course and uh uh leather uh brown watch i really like it too so let um, me ask, hey jorge what is the significance of representing colombia and branding in colombia uh means a lot to me you know um Especially coming from uh, uh, somewhere like uh, every time I say the name, nobody knows what it was, what it is. You know what I mean? And uh, it means a lot because uh, I can represent, you know, all the people, not just me. Okay. All right. So let's think about that a little bit more. So there's a responsibility to the country. I mean, as a successful baseball player, folks, by the way, in case you're just tuning in here, big welcome back to everybody on hotel television in over 550,000 rooms from coast to coast, plus all of our affiliates on CBS, NBC, and Fox, and our independent stations also that carry the program, plus in select markets, Cox, Comcast, Spectrum, Frontier, Time Warner, and Wow Cable TV, everybody also on Facebook. We're going to get into that in just a minute. But we think about the, the responsibility and the... You're proud because you get to represent your country for this product or that product or whatever it is. It's got to be a great feeling, especially being one of a very small group, to play professional baseball and have the opportunity to use your fame and your stature to recognize the products that are important to you and also to help the people back home experience some of these great products. What are your thoughts? Um, you're always gonna like you're always gonna have people who's it's gonna be watching, you know, on on your your career, your journey, you know. Um, it's gonna be kids with the same dream. You just have to show them and like teach them that they they shouldn't be afraid. They shouldn't be afraid of pursuing their dreams. They shouldn't be afraid of like have faith on yourself. It doesn't matter what people believe in you. It doesn't matter if if, if, if nobody believes in you. You just have to believe in yourself. You know? You just mm -hmm. have to think. You know what, Jorge? In you. My my sister always says this and, and I love this one. You know, some people may not like it, but she says, your opinion of me is none of my business. <laughs> yeah, but that's true, though. It's true. I mean, look, you you may like or, or dislike me. It's okay. I'm not trying to win a popularity contest. I'm just trying to be me and do what I do. Now, in your particular case, you've got the whole country watching you because here you're the shining star. You're one of the shining stars that's playing Major League Baseball. It's a great thing, but you also have the possibility to represent this brand or that brand. You've got a great shirt on, you've got a great watch on. And whether you're even playing in the Dominican Republic on with Los Tigres, right? The reality is being a champion, being a winner, you know what that is, but the people view you 
as a winner because you've already made it over that hill and you're already doing it and you've done it and you're still doing it today. Talk about the difference between baseball and the DR versus the U.S. and Major League Baseball. People just um, uh, see the those games of, uh, on DR, like uh, minor league games and all that. It's a it's a really hard league to play. It's it's a really hard. Uh, even not just playing. It's just like uh, you have to deal with fans. You have to deal with almost like everything, you know, because that's a country that live for baseball. Everything move around baseball. So whatever you do good, whatever you do bad, everyone gonna know, you know? So it's not just about like the game, it's like about the pressure that you feel when you walk out of the field, you know? It's gonna be people that they're watching you, everything. You know what I mean? And like, even like the talent they have there, it's crazy. All the talent that played that, like every game, we can see it in the in the, in the major leagues. Eli De La Cruz, O'Neill Cruz, all those guys that we were on the same team. I had the chance to be on the same team, be on the bench, see what they can do. And you just, that's amazing, you know, have the opportunity to, to play in Dominican at that level. It's just a, uh, it opened your mind, you know, in baseball. Yeah. To see a good talent on the field. Well, that's the that's the thing. I mean, like I, I used to have a house over there as well, up in uh, Cabrera, all right, in the northern part of the island. And so I watched baseball over there, and I've seen pure talent. And, the, folks, in case you don't know, it, just in case you don't know, this is really where you could see a baseball game without all the political crap, without all the distractions. You could see any ballpark. You could drive up to any ballpark, any playground, and you see a great pool of talent playing at a very, very high level. And that's for you that just tuned in on our CBS, Fox, and NBC affiliates and independents, and also on Hotel TV from coast to coast. Listen, folks, if you want to see good baseball, really good baseball, Here in this country, in the United States, go watch a Little League game. And then, if you want to go to the next level, go watch a Rookie League game. Because these guys are fighting for the possibility for greatness down the road. But if you're out of the country and you have the ability to go watch a game, ironically, maybe you might be in the Dominican Republic, go watch a game there. And your attitude will change on what baseball really is like. And hustling, like every play, is a World Series play, right or wrong. That's right. And the, just the vibe and the atmosphere from the fans, like you can feel it. You can feel like every play counts for, for the fans. They, they feel the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. They just live for the game. They really do. It's almost as if that's the, it, I'm not saying it is, but it's almost as if, that's the most important things in their lives besides their family, right? It's family work, whatever, family life, baseball. But, you know, when it comes to not family, baseball is the, seemingly the most important thing as I saw it. And I could say as a former player myself, I say, you know what? This is what it ought to be. Because when we were kids, this is what was taught to us, right? It wasn't about, you know, show me the show money. Me the money! No. It had, it had nothing to do with that. It had everything to do with getting out there and playing the game because you love the game. I mean, hell, back in the day, we didn't make hardly anything for playing baseball. I paid 1200 bucks a month to play baseball. Give me a break. But at the end of the day, when you look at it now, it's just so much focus on money, 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 TV contracts, this, that, the other. And if you're lucky enough to have a branding opportunity, I tip my hat to you, young man, because... You're in a, in a great position. Hey, let me ask you real quick. What does the name Mananalo mean to you? What does that mean to you? Are you asking me that? Yeah. Oh. 
It's a great water. You should drink it. <laughs> I should drink it? Well, I don't know, man. I, I've got this other one over here, and it's called Once Upon a Coconut. What? I got, So I went over to my local Sprouts. Oh. I went to my local Sprouts store, and I tried this <laughs> under the advisement of a trusted friend. And I got to tell you, there's five flavors. And I'm just saying, look, I don't get paid nothing for doing this. I promise you, I don't get paid nothing for doing this. But it's really good stuff. And there are five mm -hmm. flavors. And I kind of gravitate towards the regular. And I gravitate towards this chocolate one. So, folks, if you've ever had a YooHoo in your life, the YooHoo drink, this is it. This is the healthy YooHoo drink. And again, I get nothing for saying this. And at the same time, listen, try it. It's really good. It's at your local Sprout store. And again, I don't get nothing for saying it. I just like it because I like it. And we're going to give them a round of applause just because we can. And by the way, in case here in our last 30 seconds of the segment, I want to throw this out there. I did mention this uh, at the pregame when we had a conversation. There's this really cool book here, and it's called... Lasorda University, and this is for my friend Zach, Zach Manassian, and you talk about a great book with great stories about Tommy Lasorda. This is it. Go to your local bookseller or online venue, whatnot. Check out Lasorda University. This is good stuff. You want to hear some great stories? Go check that book out, and we're going to be back here, of course, with Jorge Alfaro and that wonderful boss shirt, that boss watch, and that incredible coconut water he's got, he's got all kinds of good stuff we're gonna talk a little bit about that in just a few minutes lots more to come don't go anywhere I'm your ringmaster cell of the Sports Circus, a primetime nationally syndicated television, radio, sports, and entertainment show. The Sports Circus covers topics others are too scared to talk about. There's no other primetime show like it on here that'll punch you in the face and you'll beg for more. Join me, Hall of Famers, World Champions, and All-Star Celebrity Guests for Chaos and Controversy here on Libsyn and all podcast platforms, plus thesportscircus.com. Remember, folks, it's a circus and we prove it every day. That's the sound of sizzling, dry-aged USDA prime Wagyu and Angus steaks from UppercutChops.com. They're best-in-class filet mignons, New York steaks, and the king of all steaks, the tomahawk and cowboy cut ribeyes are the best in the business. Even their prime Wagyu burgers will likely be the best you've ever had. Browse the full selection of steaks and chops at UppercutChops.com from the comfort of your home or on your mobile device. UppercutChops.com delivers all-natural, dry-aged USDA prime Wagyu and Angus steaks and chops directly to your door. Without the hassle of going to the grocery store and fight crowds to pick from a small selection of average at best meats with injected steroids, fillers, and coloring added to look good. Find out what's for dinner at UppercutChops.com or call 702-799-9935 at 702-799-9935, 702-799-9935 or make your selection directly at UppercutChops.com. Do you know someone with a drug or alcohol problem? Get help right now. Insurance may cover everything. Stop the drug and alcohol nightmare. Are drug and alcohol problems hitting you too close to home? Get help right now. Insurance may cover everything. 800-831-1560. 800-831-1560. That's 800-831-1560. Hello, Americans. It's Uncle Sam here. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes to the IRS or state, don't worry. I've got important news that may help you negotiate a lower tax bill. In today's economy, the IRS has released a variety of new rules and is offering more flexible terms to help Americans looking to settle their IRS debt. If you apply today, we may be able to lift your wage garnishments and release a freeze on your bank assets or business. Our team of tax professionals can resolve your case and stop collection actions against you. Even if you've been audited or haven't filed a return in years, they can help. Call right now and find out if you qualify to settle your IRS debt for far less than what you owe. Pick up your phone right now and call us for a free $500 IRS tax review. Don't wait. Here's the number. Call right now. 800-950-2049. 800-950-2049. 800-950-2049. For the last time, 
That's 800-950-2049. Hey, this is Brian Erlacher. Welcome back to the Sports Circus. Welcome back to the Sports Circus. I'm your ringmaster, Sal, live from Las Vegas in the AMP TV studio, AAMP.TV. A big welcome back to everybody listening in on our CBS, NBC, and Fox Sports affiliates and independents from coast to coast on 215 stations across America, as well as everybody watching on Cox, Comcast, Spectrum, Frontier, Time Warner, and Wow Cable TV and Hotel TV in over 550,000 rooms in all Nielsen-rated markets. Of course, they always get a nice round of applause. By the way, folks, make sure you check out the sportscircus.com for our upcoming guests, our prior guests, our recorded shows, which are our podcast. No, we don't do a podcast. It just happens that our full recorded shows are stored there, whether it's Apple or Spotify or Pandora or Google, Amazon, Audible, whatever. You can't get away from us. We're everywhere. And also, even on Facebook with our friends over on Chicago Food Favorites. Thanks for joining us there, too, because we like food. We're going to talk about ballpark food in a minute. And also, make sure that you visit our partners page. And also, a special thanks to Once Upon a Coconut for being a part of a small part of today's show. Boy, this is really good stuff, folks. Go check it out at Sprouts. Again, I get paid nothing for saying this. But Once Upon a Coconut, really good stuff. You'll like it. Tell them the circus sent you, and maybe they'll give me a kick in the head or something. I don't know. But anyway, all right. All right, so welcome back with Jorge Alfaro. And Jorge, we have a food page that follows this as well. And so it gets a very big audience. So talk about your favorite foods. Now, okay, so you were recently in Chicago, right? So you're recently in Chicago. I got to ask you, when you were in Chicago, what were your favorite foods? Uh, every time I go to Chicago, I get the pizza. The, yes. Yes. <laughs> all right. All right. Yes. That's great stuff. Yes. All right. So where do you get, where do you get the pizza? Do you remember the pizza place that you would get it from? No, really. Uh, I always go with all, um, with the play, like my teammates. So we always, we always like. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the pizza is just phenomenal. It really is. I have to tell you, folks, if you are just tuning in right now, we're having a conversation with Jorge Alfaro, and now we're talking about the Chicago Food Favorites page just because we can. Boy, there's really good stuff. When we think about the foods that are available in the city of Chicago, they're phenomenal. But also, it's not just the foods, but it's also the Italian lemonade. It's the bakery, all the baked goods, all the good stuff. There's so much good stuff. You can't get away from it. I tell you what, folks, if you don't know, then you don't know. You have to go out of your way. And even Al's Italian Beef, Al's number one Italian Beef and 1079 West Taylor Street in Chicago, really good stuff. And of course, if you've never had an Italian beef sandwich, it's very different, of course, than the Philly cheesesteak sandwich, which is the difference between frying and cooking. It takes 20 odd hours, 22 hours, I think, to prepare the Italian beef versus it takes about maybe maybe 10 minutes or so to make yourself a Philly cheesesteak sandwich, put it on the flat top, fry it up a little bit, spray some cheese whiz on it, you call it a day, put it on a bun. And that's basically it. It's a very different animal. But what I will say is it's nice to have Jorge Alfaro with us telling everybody about pizza. And I wish he would kind of give me an idea of which pizza place that he likes because there are so many good pizza places out there. And oh, by the way, those extend all the way around the entire Chicagoland area. And folks, in case you're not in the Chicago area, you can always get those pizzas online because nowadays people are selling these pizzas everywhere you go. It's crazy. You can get the frozen ones from here or from there. It doesn't even matter. So in the last segment, we were talking a little bit about the branding and what it meant for Jorge Alfaro as 
a, basically a brand ambassador being responsible and having this significant representation for Columbia and branding in Columbia. Kind of a big deal for the Boss brand. And I have to tell you that wearing that Boss brand across that shirt, there's a lot of responsibility comes with it, a lot of visibility that comes with it too. But the good news is he represents the brand well. The same thing with Mananalu. And the same thing, of course, when it comes to Once Upon a Coconut. Those are, boy, I, I tell you what, we think about the different food items, the drink items. And when I talk to Jorge Helfaro about what it's what it really means to be the, uh, the, the, the brand ambassador for a country, it's very different. And... You know, there, there is so much responsibility, so much responsibility that comes along with it. And I can, I can tell you this much, folks. It's a lot easier to watch and listen what we're doing on our side versus talking about something when you're not necessarily doing this on a regular basis. It's very difficult to go about this business. But the one thing I can say is that, look, when it comes to representing a brand, whether you're wearing their clothing, whether you're talking about it on television or radio, it's very difficult and you have to juggle a bunch of things in the air. Also have to make sure that you're representing something that you believe in. And me personally, look, I'm wearing a Boss shirt as well because they're wonderful. And if you don't like the Boss products, you've been living under a rock because they have amazing products. This is not a commercial for them. This is just a way of life. If you want to look good, you want to feel good, then you wear the things that make you look good and feel good. That's why I'm wearing this glorious blue shirt from Boss as well. Of course, they get an astounding round of applause. Yes! Just because we want to make sure that everybody knows what's going on over here from a fashion standpoint. <laughs> but we also think about what Jorge has to offer from all the advice from all those players that are working with a brand. And I don't know, Jorge, can you hear us right now? Because I know we've had a little bit of a technical issue, but can you hear us right now? Yeah, um, I lost okay. it for a little bit, but I'm, okay. I'm back. Okay, that's good, that's good, okay. So let's, uh, let's, let's think about what it's, what it's about to Talk about a brand to the people from back home versus in the U.S. where maybe a brand is launching in a particular market, right? So now you have a brand that was put together in country A, and now you go back home and talk about the brand to country B, all your country men and women. How do you go about telling them not only do you like it, but you really trust the brand because it feels right and it tastes right. Um, I would say the. Uh, I would take uh, personally, like uh, coming from a uh, like, humble. I would say humble. You know, never had the opportunity. Uh, humble family never had the opportunity to have like, um, like, nice. Uh, I would say like a like a nice shirt like this. Like a really, it's really comfortable. It's really like, good. I would say the trying to like spread spread that that brand in Colombia. You know, like make it bigger, make it all like uh, all the people like, they can like uh, just feel the same way I feel. You know, um, I would say that. It's really hard right now, you know, like it's really hard for me. I never, like, this is my first time doing this. But I will say that I will, I will try my best, you know, try to uh, do the best for me. And try to, uh, to, I don't know, like help people to uh, get into this brand, you know. Well, you know, Jorge, the, the idea of getting the message across for somebody to be your own boss or hey the choice is yours right it's time to shine trust the process these are all things that we talk about in sports and in life right i mean the power is within you 
all of those wonderful things. So we have to think about what it means for people to grab that message and what does the message mean to them? So when we think about all of that and we think about your interest in fashion, because obviously you're a fashionable kind of guy, you've got that look. I could never have that look that you have. You have, again, more here than I've ever grown in my entire life, if you know what I mean. But but you have the ability to convey a message to an audience in a way that a lot of people can't. Take 30 seconds to talk about your interest in fashion in the first place. About being your own boss. Like about, um, you just have to, um, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what uh, other things, it doesn't matter what people think, it just matter on what you believe and what, uh, the way you see the world, the way you see things around you. Right. Um, I would say the just uh, uh, being uh, believe in yourself. That's what it being your own your, your own boss means. You right. Know? Uh, about like uh, not be not not be that person that they think you are. Don't be like uh, if they think that you can do something. That's what they think. That's not who you are. You know. Mm-hmm. That's you have to believe that you can you can do everything what comes to your mind. You can do it. You know. You can yes. do it. Yes, you, you can. Have to trust process how you say it. You have to. You're gonna find like uh, um, things. You know, like you're gonna find. You're gonna find like. Uh, rocks on the on the road but at the end of the day you just have to believe in yourself and then you're going to get through that absolutely absolutely i mean look by the way you want a special acknowledgement to go out to the dream machine foundation partnering of course with boss and also when you come back because you will come back on the show just because you can then we'll have you get into maluma and jorge what that means and of course we know look Boss selects athletes for their unique look, quality of character and vision for the future. And then maybe take 10 seconds or 30 seconds to talk about what that means to you real quick. Couldn't hear you. Uh, I couldn't hear the last part. Okay, the whole boss selects athletes for their unique look, quality of character and vision for the future. Real quick, what does that mean to you? To me, that means a lot that I can be uh, selected on the to do this, you know, to do to show people the, that attitude, you know, it's, it's not just a brand; it's an attitude that you can you can have it, you can uh, build on that, you know. And right. I just feel proud that they give me the opportunity to be part of this. Well, listen, you've earned it, Jorge. There's no no question about that. You've absolutely earned it. And of course, when you come back, you're going to have to share a little bit more about your dreams and your your plans, what you plan on doing. But just keep doing what you're doing because you're doing a great job here on the Sports Circus. That's going to do it for today's show. I'm your remaster, Cell, and we'll see you in about 23 hours right here on your favorite station. So until then, so long, everyone. Can your IRA stand up to the next financial crisis that our top economists are saying is at our doorsteps? By allocating a percentage of your IRA into physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover, you can diversify and safeguard your holdings from turbulent markets and economic downturns by putting your IRA back on the gold standard. Find out how to safeguard your assets with a tax-free rollover with a Genesis Gold IRA, the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report. Protect your IRA today with one simple phone call and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. Call Genesis Gold Group, empowering faith-driven stewardship. 800-932-5517. 800-932-5517. 800-932-5517. That's 800-932-5517. 